Welcome back to Movie Mo Show. Today we are going to review the drama, crime film, Joker. If you like our content don't forget to like and subscribe. We upload multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. Arthur Fleck, a clown and aspiring stand-up comic, resides in crime-ridden Gotham City with his mother Penny. The medication Arthur needs to treat his neurological illness, which causes random, uncontrollable laughing fits, is provided by social services. Arthur receives a handgun from his co-worker Randall for self-defense after being accosted by young offenders. Sophie, a single mother who lives next door, is the subject of Arthur's romantic interest, and he extends an invitation for her to watch his comic act. When Arthur accidentally reveals the gun, he loses his job at a children's hospital despite his justification that Randall gave it to him. Randall disputes this. Arthur is insulted and attacked by inebriated businessmen from Wayne Investments while taking the train home while wearing his clown makeup. He shoots two of them dead in self-defense and kills the third as he tries to leave. Their boss, millionaire mayoral contender Thomas Wayne, has denounced the deaths. Demonstrators start wearing clown masks modeled after Arthur. Arthur's medication was unavailable due to the social services program's closure due to budget cuts. Sophie watches Arthur's unsuccessful stand-up performance. He laughs incessantly and his jokes are unfunny. Asserting that he is Thomas' illegitimate son in a letter to Thomas that Arthur has intercepted, Arthur chastises his mother for keeping the truth from him. He visits Wayne Manor and meets Thomas's little son Bruce there, but after a fight with the household butler Alfred Pennyworth, he leaves. Penny is taken to the hospital after having a stroke. Murray Franklin, a well-known host of late-night talk shows, who is Arthur's idol, mockingly refers to him as a joker while playing excerpts of Arthur's disastrous performance on a show. Thomas is confronted by Arthur in a movie theater. He is informed by Thomas that neither he nor Penny are his biological parents. In denial, Arthur takes Penny's paperwork from Arkham State Hospital, where it is revealed that Penny was a narcissist who adopted Arthur while working as the Wayne's housekeeper in the 1950s. After that, Penny brought up Arthur with her abusive partner, who subsequently passed away in prison. For permitting the abuse, Penny was exiled to Arkham. Arthur unexpectedly walks into Sophie's flat, distraught. Sophie asks him to go out of fear, indicating that their relationship is just a fantasy of Arthur's. The next day at the hospital, Arthur suffocates Penny to death. Arthur gets asked to participate on Murray's show when his stand-up videos become popular online. He then intends to take his own life during the show. He receives visits from Gary and Randall as he creates a clown-inspired persona. Gary is spared by Arthur because of his earlier compassion to him, but Arthur kills Randall. Arthur is pursued by two cops looking for his involvement in the killings of the businessmen as they enter a subway full with clown protesters. Inadvertently killing a demonstrator by shooting him results in a riot, but Arthur manages to flee. Arthur begs Murray to introduce him as Joker before the show goes live as a nod to his earlier satire. Arthur starts cracking macabre jokes, admits to the subway killings, rants about how society rejects the poor and mentally sick, and scolds Murray for making fun of him. After one more macabre joke, Arthur shoots him to death live on air. After his capture, riots break out all over Gotham. Thomas and his wife are killed by one of the rioters who cornered the Wayne family in an alley, but Bruce is spared. Arthur is liberated when rioters in an ambulance crash into the police car carrying him. He then jumps atop the vehicle, begins to dance to the crowd's applause, and smears blood in the shape of a smile on his face. While seeing a therapist at Arkham, Arthur chuckles to himself about a joke but chooses not to share it since he thinks the woman won't grasp it. He is being pursued down a hallway by an orderly, leaving a trail of bloodied shoe prints in his wake. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.